Hi everybody, this is Vitorials, my name is Alex and today we are going to explore the Halton effect inside Adobe Illustrator and I will show you three possible ways how to create halftones in Adobe Illustrator and the first is to use a built-in feature uh, called Pixelate. So let's create a new document. I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool and create a rectangle set top color to none and I want to set fill to default uh, gradient and change the angle of this gradient to 90 degrees. If you can find your gradient panel uh, go to the windows and uh, you can find it here. Our next step is to uh, go to the effect. Under Photoshop effect uh, find pixelate color halftone and here I want to end up with these uh, values. I want to set radius to 16 degrees. I want to set value of our four channels to 4. Here and click OK. You can play with this number but I want to show you a basic halftone. So we created this like all other uh, Photoshop effect. This effect is raster, raster based effect, so we need to go to the object expand appearance in order to uh, create a bitmap image. Then I want to go to the uh, object and image trace and make an expand. Now that we have our vector, I want to ungroup this, uh, scale a little bit my artwork and uh, choose magic wand. I want to select every single white pixel, a white, I'm sorry, white path inside this. So I want to select this and uh, using backspace delete all of my whites. Then I want to select all of them, group them and uh, go to the object. I actually don't want to group, I'm sorry. Uh, go, to, uh, go to the object compound path make or uh, use control 8. Now, now that we have our compound path, so we can uh, apply not only a solid color but also a gradient for our halftone dots. So we can change the color now. And you experience it with this issue. To resolve this issue, we need to go to the color panel. If you can find your color panel, go to the Windows color and click on this uh, little uh, menu in the top right. Uh, keep selected your artwork. And uh, here we can choose CMYK uh, color option. And now we, uh, we have been able to recolor our halftone effect inside uh, Adobe Illustrator and we also can apply the gradient. Let's say I want to this sky gradient. It looks very good. You can use it and it's very simple. But I also want to show you another technique. It's not a half tone in the strict uh, meaning of this word. But it could be far far more powerful. You can even create a vary pattern with this technique. First of all, create a rectangle, then fill it with any color you want, go to the windows, then go to the uh, swatches panel, and in swatches panel go uh, click on this small tiny icon on the top left, library, and from the library uh, choose the patterns and then basic graphic and then basic graphic dots and here we have a bunch of dots effect you can apply this 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 any dots you want you can achieve any almost impossible half tone effects as you can see here so we have ended with this uh, pre-built Halton effects in Adobe Illustrator and let's create a Halton from scratch. You can control uh, almost any, anything, size, uh, color of this Halton. And for doing this, let's start with a new document. Sizes with 19, 20, 1080 pixels. It's important. Click create. Then start with the uh, ellipse tool. 
a hidden ones on your artboard and the uh, link between width and height at that width and height to 56 pixels click ok now i want to align horizontally to the left and vertically to the top get rid from the stroke clicking on this slash use any color to let's say this red color then i want to go to my move tool double click on your selection icon to open the move dialog box first our values horizontal set it to uh, zero and i want to set vertical value to the huge 1528 pixels and click copy to produce a duplicate far away far that goes far beyond our artboard then i want to go to my transform panel here is it if you don't link link between width and height I, and here i want to set uh, get rid of this 5 and set diameter of width and height to 6 pixels so we have very very small very small uh, circle here and uh, we have larger circle here in the top left corner of our artboard we need uh, select both of them as you can see both of them are selected i want to go to the object and blend them go to the blend option and in the blend option i want to set specif uh, specified steps to 40 and click ok then ctrl alt p or command option b in order to produce this blend our next step is to use life effect go to the effect distort and transform transform and we need to create a bunch of duplicates set number of copies to 58 set the horizontal move value to 52 you can play with this number in order to achieve different half tones and different gaps and uh, different progression in half tones so we can preview as you can see it's a very nice effect but what i'm gonna do now uh, now i want to rotate it to 55 degrees uh, to the to the right so hold shift key and rotate this blend and I want to set the middle into the top left corner of our artboard the middle of our uh, first circle as you can see let me increase the panel row size of my layer as you can see we have uh, this blend here and we can control the uh, select the first circle and let's say move it to this color this creates this awesome effect you can uh, control you can rotate this in order to and maybe increase the gaps if you rotate it to 30 degrees and uh, other stuff so you can absolutely manually control this kind of uh, Halton effect. My last step is to create rectangles that covers the entire artwork, uh, entire art board. I'm sorry, and select my artwork and this rectangle and make clipping mask. And this is, my friends, how you can create a custom Halton inside Adobe Illustrator. So if you like this tutorial, please do not hesitate to thumb up, subscribe and share it with your friend. I want to thank you for following to the end. Have a nice day.